Let's try and make sense of the Khan Ingold prelog priority rules for naming alkenes. We'll start off with a, a very simple example. So this is 1,2-dibromoethene. And hopefully we can see um, that this does exist as EZ isomers. And we can probably see that the, the bromines, which is what we pick, are across from each other. So this represents the E isomer, but we can move the hydrogen and the bromine so we can swap places and now the bromines are on the same side as each other so they are together and that makes this one not the E isomer but the Z isomer. So this is fairly straightforward. But what if I change the bromine for something else on the right hand side? So instead of having a bromine, let's put a chlorine. So what goes together now? Hopefully we can see that this does give us EZ isomers. So these are two separate compounds, whether the hydrogens are across from each other or on the same side. But we need some rules to be able to um, assign names to these and decide whether it's the E or the Z. So the rule is that we choose the atom with the greater atomic number. So on the left hand side it's hydrogen versus bromine. Bromine with a much greater atomic number and on the right hand side chlorine has a much greater atomic number than hydrogen. So this is the Z isomer. Let's have a look at another example. The first question that we need to ask is does this give us EZ isomers? So split the double bond down the middle, have a look on the left hand side. Is that carbon attached to two different groups? Yes it is. Look on the right hand side. Is the carbon attached to two different groups? Yes it is. So this will give us EZ isomers. On the left hand side, who takes priority? So is it the hydrogen or is it the fluorine? Well, the fluorine has the greater atomic number, so the fluorine takes priority. On the right hand side, we've got carbon versus oxygen. So we're going to the, the next thing that the, car the carbon in the double bond is attached to. So carbon has an atomic number of six. Oxygen has an atomic number of eight. So the oxygen wins, which means that we are looking at the Z isomer for this compound. Let's see if we can come up with the full name then. Well, we have three carbons in the chain, which makes this propene. We'd never call this proponeine, um, but in being propene, that means this is the first carbon and this is the second carbon so we have but as well as being an alkene it's also an alcohol so this is an enol so the alcohol group the hydroxy is on the second carbon which means this is propene 2 ol and then the fluoro is on the first carbon so this is z1 Fluoropropene2ol. To make the E isomer of this compound, I just want to move one of the, the groups round on one side. So if the hydrogen and the fluorine swap positions, my priority groups, the fluorine and the hydroxy, are now across from each other. So this would give us the E isomer of 1-fluoropropene-2-ol. This final example is uh, quite difficult. See if you can work out what's going on. Um, first of all, let's establish um, whether we're looking at the E or Z isomer before we do the name. So on the left-hand side, we're looking at an oxygen versus a chlorine in terms of priority. So the chlorine has the greater atomic number, so the chlorine takes priority. A little bit more difficult on the, the right hand side um, because 
we're looking at two carbon atoms which are bonded. These are obviously the same. So in this case, what we do is we look at the next things attached to the carbon. So the carbon on the top, on the right-hand side, in the ethyl group, so it's bonded to a carbon and two other hydrogens, and we write these in descending order of priority. So carbon and two hydrogens, whereas the carbon in the, the methyl group at the bottom is just bonded to three hydrogens. And then what we do, we take them in descending order to see who has priority. So we have a carbon versus a hydrogen, which means that the ethyl group takes priority over the methyl group. So the, the groups with priority, we have the ethyl group and the chlorine. So as it's drawn, we have the E isomer for this particular molecule. Let's see if we can name the rest of the molecule. We can probably see that this um, alkene, the longest chain is four, which makes it but the double bond is on the first carbon there, so we're looking at but one, but we've also got the OH, so this is an enol, so we're talking but one, en one, ol. So the first number tells us the position of the double bond, and then the second number tells us the position of the OH group in the alcohol. That's not us finished yet. So we also have the chlorine as well as the methyl group. And we need to put these alphabetically. So it's the chlorine first, so one chloro, and then the methyl group is on the second carbon, so two methyl, but one ene one ol. Not forgetting, right at the start, we established this was the E isomer that we were looking at. So this is E one chloro, two methyl, but one ene one ol.